Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to understand the difference between the AWS saving plan and the reserved instances. When it comes to optimizing cost in AWS, both saving plan and reserved instance offer significant discount compared to the on-demand pricing. However, saving plan and the reserved plan are differ in structure, flexibility and application. Let's start with the first point that is the flexibility. When we talk about the saving plan, it provides greater flexibility. And when we talk about the reserved instance, it cannot provide you with the flexibility. In saving plan, you commit to a specific amount per hour rather than a specific instance type or family. However, in reserved instance, you commit to a specific instance type in a specific region for a defined term. Saving plan allows you to switch between instance type, instance family, and even you have option to change the operating system, availability zone, and the region. Whereas in the reserved instance, you can change the instance type, but within the same family. So that means if you are using T2, then you can only change to the T family, not to the M, not to the C family. You can also modify the availability zone, but there is no option to modify the region. So that is the reason reserved instance cannot provide you with the flexibility. However, in the saving plan, you have an option to change the instance type, instance family, and even you can change the operating system and the region. So it provides greater flexibility. Saving plan is ideal for the business with dynamic workload that require regular adjustment. Whereas reserved instance does not provide you with dynamic workload. Now let's talk about the capacity reservation. When it comes to the saving plan, they do not guarantee capacity within a specific availability zone. But when it comes to the reserved instance, they ensure compute capacity is available within a specific availability zone. Reserved instance also guarantee availability of the EC2 machine during the peak time, such as disaster recovery. But when it comes to the saving plan, it does not guarantee. It lacks the assurance that specific resource will be available when needed. The next point is the application scope. When we talk about the saving plan, saving plan apply across multiple AWS services, including EC2, Fargate, making them suitable for organization using multiple AWS services. But when it comes to the reserved instance, they can apply to various services like EC2 and RDS. They are generally more limited in scope of AWS services when compared to the saving plan. The next point is management and the monitoring. In the reserved instance, we need to do more manual management as we need to set up the monitoring and we also need to ensure that resources in the reserved instance are fully utilized. Whereas when we talk about the saving plan, we don't have to do any manual monitoring. Next point is type of discount. Saving plan, they offer two type of saving plan. The first one is the compute saving plan. It offers flexibility across multiple services and region. The next is EC2 instance saving plan. They apply specifically to the EC2 instance. When we talk about the reserved instance, they also come in two varieties. Standard reserved instance, convertible reserved instance. Standard reserved instance provide the highest discount up to 75%, but they are less flexible. Convertible reserved instance offer lower discount up to 54%, but it allow you to exchange them for the other reserved instance with different configuration. So in summary, choose saving plan for flexibility and wider service coverage. Whereas you can use the reserved instance when you have predictable workload requiring guarantee capacity at significant discount. I hope you understand the difference between the saving plan and the reserved instance. Still, if you have any doubt, any question, you can mention it in the comment section and I will help you with that. Thank you.